All right, howdy, dork friends. So what we got here is this uh, cute little box. I got this uh, project box from the artsy fartsy store, and uh, I repurposed it to put my coupler, smart coupler, smart tuner. It's lots of various names to it. You see, I mounted it in here, and I put a few holes up here for. Uh, where is it? There it is on that side. For the antenna out, because this is where the antenna output is. And then down here for the ground, I've got some holes for ground wires and cables and things. And then this is a cute little box to where um, you can pipe your 12 volts through your coax from your shack uh, out to this tuner without having to run, you know, an itty bitty 12 volt wire for a hundred feet or whatever it is that you need. So that was a nice little uh, project and I had stuck that up in the tree and it seemed to work okay. But today we're gonna take and repurpose. Uh, I have uh, currently Modifon Junk tuner up here um, hooked to this cute little ballon, one to one, with ladder line going up to here. Um, it does okay, but it's got some holes. The other similar thing that I used was this thing. I soldered the, uh, ladder line straight to it, you know, ground and hot. And coax directly on the other side, so, um, it's not a transformer or anything. It's just a way to direct feed. And, and what I had was a, uh, cute little male barrel connector to male bell barrel connector, so it was like only an inch long, and I was able to take and screw it straight into the back of the tuner here. Well, it's got some holes in the tuning, and uh, I feel that uh, taking this box out, and I'm not sure where I'm gonna place it yet. Um, I could probably place it here, but I think because it's so close to my linear, uh, it may cause some issues, so, I might look at sticking it up here somewhere in the window. Um, I'll figure out how to uh, stick it where it won't move. But anyways, we'll get to that project. This is uh, part one of the SGC HF VHF Smart Tuner uh, repurposing. So let's uh, get busy and we'll be back for part two. It'll be fun to see how this evolves, because I'm going to wing it as I go. See ya. 87QT. Not so mobile today. Okay, well, this is going to be a part two of the uh, SGC 231 repurposing. Um, I wanted to cover something real fast before I actually got to digging this out and uh, redoing everything. So I had mentioned how I had a ballon that was connected. This is how I did it. Um... So I have the male-to-male -male barrel connector, and I uh, I had uh, shown you this cute little device, which I did use. Um, I took and I soldered the, uh, the ladder line, the 450-ohm, uh, to the back of this, and it tuned out okay. It attached directly to the end of this barrel, this male connector. did okay. Um, and I thought, okay, well, I've got some cute little uh, balance. This is a one-to-one. -one. And then I also have a four-to-one. Uh, it doesn't really look like it much anymore because it's uh, it's been around. It's been used. So, anyways, um, that was the uh, other details that I'd mentioned before. And I wanted to throw that in there so you could see exactly. And this does work. Um, with the one-to-one, -one, what I found is uh, I can do 160. 80 is completely unusable, and then 40 through 10, uh, no problems. Uh, 17 meters, SWR is a little hard to tune. Um, with the 4 to 1, um, it had no 160 coverage, and it was 80 through 10 uh, with very little gaps. And see this, uh, this uh, Modifon Junk Tuner is the... Uh, 939 and it's it's rated for 200 watts 
peak and it is claiming to be able to tune a 64 to 1 uh, mismatch so you know if this thing if this thing can't tune one of those bands I've obviously got some serious mismatch going on by the way the uh, antenna is a doublet so this is just a short chunk of ladder line going straight to the window uh, where there's two posts going feeding through to more ladder line outside and that ladder line if you can see that okay is uh, approximately 100 feet going up to a dipole and that tree right there and uh, the, the rope goes over right above my finger right there and that's about a hundred feet so it's up there it ways. the doublet is like a G5 RV except it has a hundred feet of ladder line and then it has the same dimensions for the wire 52 feet on each side so it's designed for 10 through 160 and 6 if you have a tuner anyways okay uh, this is part two of the uh, SGC smart tuner coupler repurposing uh, so what I've got to do is uh, redo my power wire because I chopped it real short to fit in this box make it long enough to reach my power supply plug coax in um, the uh, ladder line I'm gonna have to take in the snip the little plastic separators out enough to uh, tag in the front, oops, sorry, um, top and the bottom for the ground and the hot, and feed it power, and we should be good to go. So, hopefully, we'll be back shortly to show you what that looks like. Catch you later. AE7QT in the shack, not so mobile. Oh, Oakley Dunkley, part three of the uh, SGC 231 repurposing. So, ladder line up to the window, there's ladder line outside, goes up to 80 plus feet-ish, what have you. So we got positive on one side, negative on the other, I just kind of cut the ladder line up a little bit. Nice piece of LMR 400 with some chokes on it and the little uh, power line that goes over to my uh, power supply on the other side, um, hooked to a different radio so it's not sharing like when I'm keyed down with the HF radio, it's it's got its own voltage from another radio. So uh, that's where that's at. Um, let's go over and look at the other side real fast and then we'll go tune through the bands real fast. So I have my cute little uh, 30 amper power works uh, power supplies. The top one is hooked to my 7300 and the bottom one is to the 9700. I have the uh, power wire for the SGC hooked to the 9700 so when the uh, top uh, is is getting potentially a small surge of power I don't have to worry about the uh, tuner having any glitches because I'd noticed this before and when I was running battery powered it needs good solid power to not you know have weird tuning glitches okay back to the radio so um, I've got this set for 10 watts approximately. Um, I'm just gonna kind of go through the bands real fast and just key up and show you that it uh, loads up real fast. Um, SWR, you got the SWR is, is right above my finger right there. Okay, so um, I don't have anything, uh, you know, an analyzer wouldn't give me enough power for the tuner to uh, load it up, but. Uh, 160 seems to struggle a little bit, so I don't want to like key down a whole bunch, but anyways, I'll, I'll play with that more later. Um, but like, 75 seems to do pretty good. Um, okay, it looks pretty quiet, right? Okay, cool. There you go. Um, both top and bottom of uh, 75, 80. 40 meters. Okay, boom, one to one. Go near the top, boom, one to one. Uh, 10 or 30 meters. There it is, nice and flat. 20. 
uh, pretty flat. So you notice I'm doing it right at the band edges. Sorry guys, I'm you know obviously I'm not identifying, but I, I figured if I did it right between voice and digi, no one's gonna be like right on that frequency, right? Okay, good enough. Let's move on. Uh, all right, so I had to tune out a band to uh, get it to a nice perfect one to one, but it does. It does, so I'm happy about that. Uh, let's go to 15. Nice and flat. <coughs> 12, excuse me. Nice and flat. 10. Nice and flat. And 6. Pretty good. Now, even if we go... This look pretty wide, so I'm going to have to go with... Oh, nice and flat. Oops. Uh, let's see if it does it. I don't think I've trained it on this frequency. Uh, 2.5, I'll probably do better. Oh, look at that. Perfect. All right. 87 QT, tuning through the bands with an SGC smart tuner and a doublet, which is like a G5 RV, but with 100 feet of ladder line instead of 30-ish feet like a standard G5 RV. Anyways, catch you on the band somewhere, 7387QT.